Continuing on with our discussion about our human body systems, next is the digestive system. The purpose of your digestive system is to break down food into molecules that the body can absorb for energy. Pass these molecules into the blood to be carried throughout the body and work to eliminate solid waste from the body. Some organs and their functions of the digestive system. Your digestive system starts in your mouth by chewing and grinding up the food. Your saliva or your spit also begins the chemical breakdown of your food. Your esophagus is the pipe that connects your mouth to your stomach. And your stomach secretes an extraordinarily strong acid that leads to the breakdown of the food. More organs. The pancreas produces enzymes that breaks down the food as well. Your liver produces bile, which breaks down fats and foods. The gallbladder stores that bile for future use. The small intestine is where nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream, and that's where you'll find the villi, and that's what helps that move along. And then your large intestine removes the water and gets the waste ready for excretion. Um, fun fact about the digestive system, you will create about four tons of poop in your lifetime, and that's almost the same weight as a hippopotamus. And bore Borgimus, I don't know if I pronounced that right, is a scientific word for when your stomach growls. And the stomach has the ability to stretch and hold up to four pounds of food at one time. So there is a diagram of the digestive system. So let's watch a brain pop about the digestive system now. Hey, these are really good. My compliments to the chef. Dear Tim and Moby, how do we digest food? From Sam. Oh, I thank you. Digestion is about breaking apart the food we eat so that our bodies can use the food's nutrients. Food is broken up in two ways, mechanical digestion and chemical digestion. Mechanical digestion is the physical breaking apart of food. Chemical digestion is when chemicals called enzymes break food into molecules that your body can absorb. Both types of digestion occur in our mouths. Chewing mechanically breaks food apart, while an enzyme in your spit called salivary amylase breaks down carbohydrates. When food you eat becomes a soft, gooey mass, your tongue pushes it to the opening of your esophagus at the back of your mouth. The esophagus squeezes the food down into the stomach. Inside your stomach, food is churned and mixed with enzymes and other digestive juices, including hydrochloric acid. These chemicals break down proteins and fats. A lining of mucus protects your stomach from the acid. After about four hours in your stomach, food is the consistency of a thick milkshake, and we call it chyme. Chyme moves into the small intestine, which is actually not so small. It's about seven meters long. The small intestine is where most of the nutrients from food are absorbed. In the first part of the small intestine, called the duodenum, digestive juices from the liver and pancreas join the breakdown mix. They turn the chyme into a soup of molecules small enough to be absorbed into your bloodstream. Well, there are these tiny finger-like things called villi lining the inside of the small intestine. Cells on the surface of the villi absorb nutrients from chyme as it flows by. When chyme gets to the large intestine, it's thin and watery. The large intestine is actually way shorter than the small intestine, but because it's a lot wider, it's called large. Sometimes it's called the colon. The large intestine sucks most of the water out of digested chyme in a process called absorption. This step is important because recovering that water keeps you from getting dehydrated. Once most of the water is gone, solid waste is moved to the last part of the large intestine, the rectum. When enough waste piles up there, you're ready to go to the bathroom and the digestive process is complete. The whole digestion process can take up to two or three days. Ooh. I, uh, I think I ate too many pancakes.
All right. Let's see what Chloe and the NURB have to say about our digestive system. Kids Health presents How the Body Works with Chloe and the NURB. I see your gallstones and raise you four tonsils. Cool! What you got? Huh, read them and weep. A pair of kidneys. Well, filter my trash. Too bad for you, I have a straight set of teeth. Arr, stupid good-for-nothing cards. I curse the day I bought you. Double or nothing? Nerb, did you eat chili again? That's not me, Chloe. I can't! I'm paralyzed with fear! <laughs> Chloe! Wake up! What? Where are we? We're in the mouth! A gateway to the digestive system! The digestive system? Yup! It takes the food you eat, breaks it down, and turns it into energy you can use. It's trying to break us down into tiny pieces as we speak! Oh, don't worry, Chloe. That's why we're wearing these spiffy anti-digestive suits. Nerb, what's this goop on my arm? Oh, that's saliva. As soon as you take a bite of food, digestion begins. Saliva contains things called enzymes that start breaking down food immediately. Whoa! Looks like we're in the esophagus, a tube that runs from your mouth to... The stomach! Yep. Oh, happy day! Food! Now we can watch it be digested! Lucky us. Look at the food! Look at it! Right here in the stomach! Gastric juices are starting to break it down! It's amazing! Gastric juices? Yes, siree! Gastric juice isn't like orange or grape juice. Your stomach secretes a mix of acid and enzymes that start digesting the food you eat. The stomach also churns the partially digested food, turning it into a lovely, liquidy mush. Then the food moves into the small intestine. Bye-bye, handsome. Handsome? That combo of chewed up food and gastric juices was gross. Well, then you're gross. Excuse me? Whoa, you've seen this combo of chewed up food and gastric juices erupt from your own body, if you've ever thrown up. Oh, I have seen that before. Nerve vomit sparkles with all the colors of the rainbow. I think it's time to move on to the small intestine. Whoa! Here we are! The first part of the small intestine is called the duodenum, and it's where a liquefied food goes next! Duodenum! 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 There are more digestive juices found here, like bile. Bile is made in the liver and stored in the gallbladder until your body needs it. Bile and enzymes from the pancreas break down the proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. It's here that the body absorbs the vitamins and minerals from the food. Whoa! Wow. Welcome to the large intestine! Hold on. If the small intestine does all of that, why do we even need a large intestine? Oh, my dear Chloe, of course you need a large intestine. The large intestine has an important job to absorb water and salt. So, what's left? At the end of the digestive process, anything that hasn't been absorbed is considered waste, which your body doesn't need. In other words, boop. <laughs> Nerve, what's that sound? Uh-oh. <laughs> How am I going to tell my diary about this? Just say, today me and my best buddy Nerve went on a journey through the digestive system. And we had 
the time of our lives. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>